against uh, JoJ, who, mind you, won the other Diddy matchup right beforehand with Infernape, likely. So, that's no more Diddy's I gotta see on the screen. <laughs> it's just one more. One more. It's Three just, Diddy's in, uh, in top 12. Oh no, in top 8. Top eight uh, top Three Diddy's in top 8. All of them falling to Pekko, who has completed his midterm, and he is <laughs> he's ready to rock. He's, he's ready, ready to, to rock. get right into John numbers. His midterm's done, he just decided that he decided to be the best pet Diddy for today, and we're going into John numbers, which which he does do pretty well on on occasion. We've seen him pick, take some really crazy runs against numbers, and you saw it! You saw the vision, Ubo! Yep. I saw it! I want to just like start saying the thoughts that are going on in my head because they're like the, the, the demons are speaking to me and they're speaking to me from Pekko's brain where it's just like I, Pekko wants to kill him here and then he goes for stuff like this and he's waiting for down airs at ledge and another one trying to find these two frames and letting every single thing rip. Watching Refit do fair twice under the stage to get, get to the up is really funny but regardless I'm just able to come back to the other side of the stage using head ledge chains as well and gang limit soccer damage just a boot, but no sensation able to connect uh, with Diddy Kong. Pekko just kind of working this matchup a little bit unfavorable right now. Is slowly, the advantage that he was dominating over with is slowly going away. And when I say slowly, I mean quickly. It was a quickly approaching the train. Bro yeah. slam. That, uh, that Wii Fit down air is certainly a, a menace and a half, and actually giving Pekko a taste of his own medicine by like daring at ledge here. Trying to go for another one. One more. No, the the fake out and going for the forward tilt there, punishing Numbers' angle. But Numbers makes it back to ledge. And if he's able to refresh his resources, you feel bad. Yeah. But you can never rush it, and thus you fall into the Numbers vortex. How do I finish off this stock? And how do I stop myself from taking so much damage here, Ma? It's almost impossible, because even now, Numbers does not have any deep breathing during that entire, almost that entire sequence. Pekko leaned back in his chair, kind of feeling a little bit defeated, but you had the monkey flip. That's when you're able to use it in your most advantage state. In the event that numbers off stage once more, Diddy staying for a little bit too long, getting hit by the hula hoops, and you saw numbers go down there for a little bit of a nefarious uh, forward air right there, trying to get some, uh, you know, some kind of his card, a cheeky hitbox uh, for his efforts, taking that trade in for and a half, and Pekko only now taking the first stock. That's certainly tough to see here, Mop, but you get a starter, like all it takes for uh, for Pekko to get a little bit of momentum and to start really fighting back here is just to get an opening, or like, just to get like something that makes him feel clean. It's all confidence and it's all mental, right? Like you see him sit back up once he's able to get a couple of these combos going, once he starts reading and feeling like he's on the same plane as numbers without having to worry about like, oh, I just need any hit here. Like numbers is just not letting me go. That could be really nasty that jump right there, but thankfully numbers is kind of opting to go back to the state stage, trying to reset neutral as much as we can. And honestly, numbers neutral right now is being on a ledge. He's very safe. He has to be being active as well. And that little platform is so good for Diddy Nora to just kind of you know stuff out numbers recovery option or approaches with the platform by staying right underneath it. But again, Pekko is at 120. We are getting poked through the ledge, which is evil, double evil, but so great DI. Fun. Just trying to set up, looking for a lot of feints. There is numbers, finding down tilt into up tilt, but not closing out the stock thanks to that little bit of rage. And you, you are gone. <laughs> That's gross. Just obliterated. Look at this. We'll see. Look at some of these stocks. Shout out to the amount of times numbers missed some punishes off stage when it came to the barrels, but when it came to just every other aspect of ledge play, yeah. like numbers had it locked down. It's like, despite barrels kind of getting around, getting away from him a little bit, like monkey flips, as we saw in that second stock, completely locked in. What was this, a forward tilt? Had to have been forward tilt. I'm trying to find the last stock. It's coming up right now. Oh, this is where Petko was able to get uh, one stock off of numbers. Like I was saying, you know, Pekko typically does do relatively well in this matchup, even sometimes taking it over numbers. I think he took over numbers once or twice already. Yeah. But numbers having to... Ha numbers is so good at just adapting so quickly. And that's just the format of Xeno where you have some threes, you have to... Or you, it's either it's your another die. Yeah. Straight up. You only have three di three games to, to, to do it, and numbers can do it like this. And, and within a game, he can do it. It... It's one of Numbers' best strengths, especially in uh, against characters he's familiar with, against players he's familiar with, because he knows, like, oh, you're going to try this right now? Um, 
get cooked. Oh. That was almost... If that ended in another, another stop from Peko, I would have just been like, it's, it's wraps. It's time to go home. Like, it, the midterm, well, we won today. Yeah. <laughs> we finished it before we, midnight. We actually did win. Like, we're in top four after, like, after completely owning uh, some schoolwork. Oh, okay. Bye, numbers. Okay, numbers just said, yeah, that, that's, that's fine. Let's that's keep Numbers Let's keep even. Purple yeah. today. I didn't notice that. Let's look good on him. And he always wears green. I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite shocked at the pop of color right now. But it's the jacket, right? It's like usually. It's just green. He's, yeah, no, he has green on usually. Yeah, I mean yeah. the jacket. So it's like, oh, huh, this one looks a little different. That camera. Well, it's oh, not different though. Nope. It's just it's same. Same old, same old. Different shirt, same old numbers. And he's looking for some follow-ups there off of the berry. Not gonna find it though. And he's. Peko just seemingly falls straight into so many of these oh. setups, so many of these traps, and so many of these finishers trying to get right back to ledge, but you can't rush anything against numbers. He can box with you, and he can set you up for stocks with the, Look with at the best of them. Look at him go. Uh, Peko is just absolutely fabricated. I mean, I, I saw what he was trying to do with the banana throw, but numbers, just, it just didn't face him whatsoever. It, didn't, it was just slightly mistimed. And, you know, Peko trying to get, it's just getting a little frustrated here. Not unable to get any of the banana tosses that we've been going for. And even, even so, the number is just taking it from him whenever he can as well. So it's just a battle of fighting for your own peel, you know? That the stall's missing the ledge there, but gives Peko an opportunity here, Ma, in order to try and set something up. If they play the patient game, choosing to establish banana first, Fighting numbers come back on stage, and arguably, that's way more palatable and way more like, oh, you're you're way more like aware of what of generally how things happen when numbers stays on stage. Like I don't I don't want to mess with this, but Peko choosing to continue to mess with it. Messing with it, he is, but at, this, at least this there. time he's not actively going out uh, off stage, right? Definitely playing it way more grounded, way more patient as well on the on the edge. Waiting for Numbers' reaction, or not reaction, but recovery options that he's going to be doing from the ledge. And Numbers is narrowly missing a lot of these, uh, these tilts and attacks that he should have been able to get much more consistently. Jumping down from the platform into a mid dash attack with the breathing active and ready. Ledge hang into another down air, but that's going to get the Peko taking... 30% off of the grab. Oh, oh that's the Falling it's out over. of the dash attack. That is so tough. And then that really awkward hit at the very end to close out the game. I mean, as we get a look at that, like, this is just heartbreaking, right? Like, that right there, like, this dash attack that he misses, like, really wind it back here. Really, really wind it back. Like, this dash attack should... If that final hit connects, it pops up around here. You get a forward air. You set up banana. Like you, you have way more damage than this, and you get opportunities to either set up a ledge trap or push forward with something like back airs or whatever you may see fit. Yes. Instead, numbers falls out thanks to a million things. It could have been rage. It could have been deep breathing physics. It could have been the lack of stage at the very end. Who knows? Uh, but it forces Peko to then make a quick choice at the very end, like, do I go for it now, or do I try and hold steady? He chooses to go for it and falls victim to just some awkward We Fit ledge shenanigans, which... You know, it is. She's one of the best ledge changes, le ledge changes in the game. Yeah. It's hard to contest. It's just... It's what it is. It it's is another Wednesday. It it's another Wednesday. Yeah, welcome it's really to Wednesday. Weird. Welcome to Wednesday. But we're seeing right now is one of possible two runbacks. This is the one where Numbers was sent to losers, where VV sent them to losers. And if VV wins, they get their runback versus Carper, who sent them into losers. So this is a possible runback. And Numbers, look at this. The